Okay, this is the last time I Skype with my dad. Well, did you really expect him to not be in his bathing suit? It wasn't a bathing suit. It was a purple Speedo. Aren't Speedos and bathing suits the same thing? And your usually basic logic kicks in once again, Mr. Berkowitz. A bathing suit is something you wear in the water, while a Speedo is a dirty piece of exotic underwear that shows off unnecessary goodies that no one wants. So something you wear to the pool, Bradley? Whoa! What happened to our school? Somebody vandalised our school with that. Fresh meat is dead. What's that meant to mean? It means they used an ugly shade of red for the spray pink. Duh! Or it means somebody's actually dead or is going to die. Well, we still have you and Bradley and Johnny, so... I don't know who else would die. <laughs> hey, I'm with you on the Johnny and Bradley part. Hi. Students of Arctic Academy, it looks like our college campus has been vandalized with paint and someone is making a threat. Now, I don't know if it's any of you or someone from outside the school, but whoever it is, there will be serious consequences. Ms. Stubborn, Mr. Sass, and the rest of the teacher faculty will be having their guard up during this investigation. And this will be perfect for the school newspaper. Students, today since you're delinquent abusive paint sprayers, sprayers you need to clearly learn a lesson on how to handle spray paint. Now we need two full prisoners to come up and take the fall, and I pick Rogers and Queen. Okay, I am no way getting sprayed. Fine, you can spray Miss Queen instead. Spray me? What? With this? Oh, what did you just do? I used the spray paint properly. Thank you very much. Hey now, she matches the Queen of Hearts. Give me that spray paint. No, it's mine! I see a spray paint fight breaking out between two girls during the how to use spray paint properly assembly, which is turning into the how to use spray paint violently assembly. Yeah, well, all therapy you need to have the anger taken out first. Whatever. I am actually here for a few students who are suspects in the great graffiti scandal. If I call your name, please follow me. Samantha Vegas, Blake Columbus, and Jennifer Klotz. Everybody else? Keep violently fighting over spray paint. Make sure to smile for your criminal selfie. How oh, well, help! Jennifer Klotz and Blake Columbus both call down to the punishment zone. So, why are we here? Sorry. Why are. Blake and I 
here. You are all suspects in this incident. Why are we all suspects? I found red spray paint in all your rooms under your beds. Would you like to explain these? Well, it wasn't me. Well then, would you like to tell us what you were doing with the red spray? Okay, well, it was last week. After Amy Bradley... After Amy slammed Bradley into her wall, destroyed my red box. So I was spray painting in the class, which I had to redo it before the morning, or I'd get a zero for the shape project. So that's where I was, painting a red bra box for Miss Stubborn. What a lie! Oh, I'd love to hear this. If she is lying, then what is your story with the red spray paint? Okay, well, it was a few days ago, and I was doing my hair and my fancy mirror flipping, waving, and twirling like a goddess. Get to the point, Vegas. Then I walked outside my dorm, and then I heard a spray noise. Then I walked outside my dorm, and I could hear a spray noise, and I saw clocks walking with a red spray can. What? I was just returning it to Miss Stubborn, which I couldn't find her, so I had to keep it in my room. But why did the red spray can have no lid, Jennifer? Look, I know what it looks like, but it was a lid cap misplaced, like... Then why was there no lid, Jennifer? Why was there no lid? Miss Klotz, you have a lot of explaining to do. Have died. <laughs> Please note, the new number is... What's going on here? What did this? Again. What is with all the commotion? I was the only one in this hallway at first. Now you have to be quiet before Miss Stubborn hears you. You... you did this. What? No, I didn't do it. I just went to the vending machine to get some skills. Principal office now. But... No. Why? Just go. I picked the wrong day to skip class. Now Johnny takes picture. So I get pose. It's got a lot more twisted. It's time for Bradley Berkowitz Bonds to take over. But Samantha, you think you're always right, but you're really not. So you should just shut up because I don't even like you and I don't get why you are- Can't you guys stop fighting? It's making me claustrophobic. Okay, okay, girls, girls, girls! I was getting a sandwich which had lettuce in it. I hate lettuce. Oh, wow. You're surprised Amy did it? No, I'm surprised she's eating healthy. Looks like we have got a criminal to crime when another graffiti act was committed, Principal Moody. And I never want to experience that again, because anytime I eat something healthy, something bad happens. Like, I get sent to the principal's office. Oh, look, there's the new lavender waiting chairs. Well, Ms. Rogers, you do have a criminal record, and a juvie record, and a record for Jack slapping a teacher, and a record... <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever, I have a record, but that doesn't mean that I did it. What a lie! I can't breathe in this small room. To someone who points to the lies, sure lies a lot. What do you mean? Well... You lied to me about the haunted teacher story with Johnny. You lied to me about saying my mom arrived to the school, which later I ended, with, I ended up with black paint in my hair. And heck, even this morning you lied to me saying you liked my top. And you said, um, your top looks cute, Jennifer. Well, I didn't lie about that. Oh, really? Then how come I overheard you and Ruby this morning saying that you wanted to cut my top and eat it into a million pieces? Well, as in eating, I mean, I wanted... Okay, I lied. But at least I don't have a criminal record. 
Well, now you're gonna have a medical record. What does that mean? <gasps> oh. I'm gonna die in the corner because my anxiety level is getting higher and higher. Hey guys, you guys, stop. Oh, she just didn't. I'm going to kill your face, you ugly wannabe witch, and your ugly extensions in your hair! It feels like the box is closing in quicker and quicker. Hey, it's a crime scene. I'm so, so devastated by this tacky graffiti art. Like, everyone knows red is so fall 2012. It just hurts to see somebody do it really in a really offensive way. The colors were done so, so badly. I just, I just can't. <laughs> and cut. Okay, now get my good side storm. This is going to be great publicity for your newspaper. I'm so thankful you did it for me. You gave me ten dollars to do this. If I give you twenty dollars, will you shut up and never speak about it again? Deal. And I think I just caught the criminal. You are coming downtown with me, missy. The police station? No. Principal Willie's station. What? The office, damn it. Okay, well, Principal Willie better have those new lavender chairs that the secretary told me about. Okay, since you three girls are not going to play nice until we figure out who did this, you will be taking out your anger with the rubber whackers that are used in therapy boxes. Now, let's try this again. Who did... Samantha is a plastic Barbie lime twig! Somebody tried to rip my extensions out, and now it's all mismatched. Jennifer could never work those extensions, and Amy's a ratchet, criminal Barbie twat. Okay, why everyone except me is going to use the insult that? Because Jennifer, you're not all about that kind insult wordplay. What wordplay insult life? Oh my god, you're such a basic twat! Oh yeah, would a basic do this? Ow! Oh! I have caught your criminal and I'm about to crack this case, Principal Willie. Oh gosh, Bradley solving the case as if... Ruby was taking pictures with Johnny Storm around the crime scene so she could be the most popular girl in the school. Which she actually stole the spray paint from the spray paint supply storage of a classroom. And Bradley solving the case actually made sense. Look how it hits. Bradley is almost correct. I honestly don't touch products with the word spray in it like paint spray, hairspray, can spray and oh my god is that the new lavender chairs? Did you spray them? Cause if so I am not sitting on them. So you set this all up just to get publicity? Well it was the perfect opportunity but I didn't do it. Well I couldn't be more proud. Well, it was the perfect opportunity, but I didn't do it. But you made me stay four hours in here with these losers. Well, it was the perfect opportunity, but I didn't do it. You were so dead. Wake you and will make you. What? I didn't. Didn't what? Looks like the criminal has been caught. Who did. <sighs> okay, 
I am keeping everyone here until someone admits who pulled this vandalism graffiti act off. Okay, Principal Willie, this is getting out of control here. We have people who keep coming in and out of here. Do you really think, if, even if the vandal is in this room, that they were warned by now and they probably won't do it again? Looks like we have caught a criminal of the crime when another graffiti act was committed, Principal Willie. And as an award, a race and two packs of cigarettes would be fine for us. Johnny did it! Whack the daylights out of his demented head! Why should we believe you? After all, you tricked me, Amy, Bradley, Blake, and I into believing there's a real ghost teacher in the school. And he did help me with that classroom hoax. And you used me as a play toy for your school magazine. It's a newspaper! Magazine sounds more seductive and crime-like, though. She does in her face with gravity scandal.